Despite ceasefire negotiations gaining momentum, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed Tuesday to invade Rafah. The remarks also come despite Washington's opposition, while the U.S.'s top envoy is set to meet the Israeli leader to press for more aid for Gaza. Yi Singjie reports. It's been nearly seven months since the armed conflict between Israel and Hamas began in October 2023, and another round of negotiations has begun. A deal would mean the release of Israeli hostages, aid relief for Palestinians, and avoiding an Israeli offensive in Rafah. However, all that seems to be up in the air now, as Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has made it clear that an Israeli offensive in Rafah will be conducted with or without a deal. Netanyahu and his government have called the southern Gaza region Hamas's last stronghold, with the Israeli leader emphasizing that stopping the war before achieving all of its goals is out of the question. Responding to Netanyahu's remarks, the White House on Tuesday expressed its opposition to a Rafah offensive. According to White House National Security Council spokesman John Kirby, the U.S. doesn't want to see an operation that hasn't factored in safety and security of the over 1.5 million Palestinian refugees in the region. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said Tuesday that during his planned talks with Netanyahu, he would convince Israel that it needs to allow for an increased flow of aid into Gaza. Blinken says while there have been some improvements in the humanitarian aid situation in the enclave, much more is needed to ensure proper assistance reaches the Palestinians in a sustained manner. Wednesday's meeting between Blinken and Netanyahu will come on the back of U.S. President Joe Biden's warning to the Israeli leader that Washington's policy could shift if Israel fails to address civilian harm, humanitarian suffering, and the safety of aid workers. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.